a very refined style. Mm. So I've kind of just, as time goes on, has gone on, I've just kind of gotten more intense in that way. Like if I look at paintings like 10 years ago, they're, they're not as refined as this at all, but they mm. are very realistic looking. Right. Um, but yeah, it was just kind of from the outset, I was like, okay, this is how I work. Right. It's kind of just smooth. There wasn't like in all of all the student paintings, they had us try different styles, which right. I did. You know, you uh -huh. do like the Van Gogh, like where you take your pasto and you do, you know, they have you try out a lot of different things, but this is just kind of, has always kind of been the way that I do it. And so I've just accepted the fact that, okay, you know, yeah. I'll look at other people's work. It's really like, there's a lot of brush strokes and it's um, more, not abstract, but, um, looser right. is the word I'm looking for and I love it because I'm like that's not what I do you right. know I'm like wow it's so great that they can do that and um yeah it yeah. always gets me it always gets me when I see see there's a there's a thing in the art world that's mm -hmm. kind of anti-photorealism there is there is yeah I mean unless you're really good at it yeah. you know and then people are like okay We'll give you, we'll give you that, but, yeah. you're good. but I mean, <laughs> but, um, like, yeah, there's a thing in the art world that wants, you know, that wants to sort of, they want, they want to, they want to see the artist, yeah. right? They want to see the brush strokes. Yeah. They want to see the, 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 odd uh, the imperfections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like uh, you like the belly rub. It's really interesting to me how people um, sort of naturally sort of fit. It. Like I couldn't do photorealism if you paid me a million dollars yeah. and sat me in a room yeah. for two hundred years. It just <laughs> wouldn't happen because I don't. My my hands don't work. And yeah. as much as I would love to do something like that, yeah, I get so angry. Yeah. Are you because I cannot make it look like that. Are you a photographer as well? Are no. these pictures that you take? Well, they're all pictures that I take for sure. Um, unless like it's a photo of someone else, it's like a family photo that they give me. But definitely, I work for my own photos. And I'm not, I don't consider myself a photographer at all. I take a banal photo and then I make it into what make, I want. Make okay. You know. Um, yeah. As a photographer who tried to go to painting, it yeah. was really hard because I wanted to do photorealism yeah. because I, I want everything to be perfect, precise yeah. the way yeah. the way I see it. Yeah. And I can't I can't do that. I'm I'm like Christopher, you put yeah. me in a room for two hundred years. Yeah. And I'm not Well I remember learning about one of the first photorealists, I forget which one it was, but he would just project the image yeah. onto into this the colors are the colors are the most there. difficult part. I would yeah. Imagine. Oh, it's the most Just difficult part. Match That's it. why I have to like, do things four different times because it's like the first time I'll sort of kind of get ish color ish, <laughs> get sort of what I want, and then it just over. It takes me more time to get it right. For yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's the hardest part is getting the color. So I, I yeah, it's just fun, it's funny this. On, I'm on Instagram and I'm following some artists. I'm pretty hyper realist really incredible stuff and the, some of them show like their process and they just do like they have it all perfectly drawn out and they just do like one little area at a time and I definitely don't do it like that but I think it's pretty amazing that people are able yeah, to Yeah I saw a documentary do of a guy who was doing a picture probably twice the size of that one yeah. and he had the grid so tight I yeah. mean the box the boxes were about that I mean it was tight and he was literally each grid yeah. he treated each grid as a separate piece wow. and he painted each yeah. grid and he drew the whole thing before he started but then when he actually sat down with paint and color mm -hmm. it was just this little box <laughs> man wow well that helps you focus for sure if you're doing something that huge and intense I I've thought I about doing it that way, but I get frustrated because I like the I like to go working from on the whole really thing. general. So it's almost like I'm sculpting it as I go. That's that's what they're doing in uh, drawing class uh -huh. with us. Is is she kept draw the whole thing at once, the whole thing at once, and your page is yeah. two by two feet by eighteen inches, usually yeah. twenty four by eighteen or whatever is what we're using. Oh, yeah. And like 
how do you draw the whole thing at once? You know, <laughs> but, I only have one pencil that touches the paper in yeah. one spot. But I literally, she's like, you, okay, you make a curve here, yeah. and you make yeah. the little box over here. That's the chair right there, uh -huh. and then there's this uh -huh. thing, and then you boom, 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 and it's literally like this fast, wow. you know. Yeah. And then you get all the things, and then you start erasing, mm -hmm. then you start replacing, mm -hmm. and then you. Just use all these different techniques, you know, you don't use a pencil, you use a solid piece of graphite or a solid yeah. piece of uh, charcoal, right? And you make your mark and then you wipe it and you smudge <laughs> it and erase it and you get the thing. Yeah. And then pretty soon the thing starts to take on this. Yeah. And, it's a, and it is, you're drawing the whole thing at once, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, you don't want to get stuck in one, okay, I got to get this chair right. Because yeah. if you get stuck on the chair, you're going to be on the chair for yeah. the whole time that you have to work. Well, yeah. and then that'll be disproportion. <laughs> yeah, you really have to, like, the size of the chair relation to whatever's over here, you really have to kind of do it all at once if you want it to feel... And, when, and with school, you're on a deadline. You know, they always have deadlines. So uh, yeah. you never have enough time to do it. Oh, no. Like, something like this, I imagine, takes... Four, that was she said 70 hours. 70 it was hours. a course of four months to do that. But yeah. I wasn't working... But you could, you know. you, you, that's not something you would do for a class, I wouldn't think. No, I mean, it would take too much. I've been in class for so long. But yeah, I remember like the longest I ever had to finish something was a month. Yeah. You know, and now I'd be like, God, that's not, that's not <laughs> enough time. I mean, I, I have done one piece in like three weeks, which is rare for me. But usually I kind of stretch it over. I let it kind of marinate, you know. I'm do like, you work okay. on multiple pieces at one oh, time? Yeah, I totally do. Otherwise, I'm got... sick of them. She's got her canvases turned away yeah. from us because these are the ones that aren't done. And she yeah. told me that she doesn't like to look at them while she's working on them. They drive her crazy. <laughs> it's too much visual information. I need it to be quiet when I'm not in it. Well, plus you live in your studio. It's too small. That yeah. If I didn't live in my this space, I, it would be different. I right. would like, leave them out and like I would spread out so much. But I just constantly am having to clean and things around just to keep staying in here. Yeah. I love it. It's beautiful, but it's just too small. <laughs> it's really hard to <laughs> to work in and live in. So, but it's okay. It's like I don't have to pay for the studio fee or the rental for that, right. and I don't have enough for that. So, there you go. Yeah. So, you got any shows or anything that you're in or Well, galleries? my next one, I don't have any Well, I have some work up at this um at Dwell Realty, which I'm doing a little last Thursday. So the 29th, Thursday the 29th, from 5 to 8, there's an opening. So I'm selling prints and cards and just chatting with people. I have a smattering of, like, older pieces in that office space. And they actually have this really great spread. They bring a caterer in and have wine and snacks. And nice. It's really nice. The last one I did in um, October was um, one of my best openings I've ever had. Um, so, yeah, Dwell is a really great place. And you're then, able to leave them there for the month? Well, the, there's paintings on the wall, but it's an office space, so they have their, you know, oh, okay. their last so Thursday show. event okay. to support the okay. artist, but also to do networking for their realty company. So right you on. meet, like, people in the banking industry, and anyway, it's a good network. Yeah, yeah. For an artist. Good um, people to buy art. Too. Yeah, because these are people, and they actually buy stuff, too, so, yay. Because they got <laughs> the money. Yeah, <laughs> so that's really nice. Money really helps. Um. But the other, the main thing that I'm focusing on right now is a sh solo show at the Ready Cafe in September. So I've been upping my um, discipline level and just working on something every single day because because of the amount of the detail in them and because of the large space. I have my work cut out. How many how many paintings do you want to have done? I want to have I would say roughly between fifteen to twenty. Um, but there's a whole other giant piece I want to work on that's going to be an interior, probably from in that area somewhere. Another kind of keychain. Is that the one that you're sketching over here? Yes, the window. It's gonna. I'm thinking I want to do a life-size one of that. It's gonna be difficult to pull off because it's such. It just. It, I'll just talk about it next time, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> That's my idea. You heard it from her. There's going to be a next time. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. That's going to be challenging, but I've got the canvas downstairs, and I'm putting gesso on it. Nice. And if it doesn't, you know, if I start it and I don't like it, then I'll pick something else. But <laughs> So there's, yeah, I have a lot of stuff to do in the next seven and a half. 
And uh, how do people get a hold of you to um, for like commissions and yes, buy just your art? SuzanneElizabeth.net is the best place to go. You can see most of my work. Um, there's a shop in there for prints. I can add originals too. I will add originals as time goes on. But um, or just yeah, or just email email me Suz twenty three Eliz at gmail .com. But it's all in my website. Say it again. S U Z two three E L I Z at gmail .com. I know that's not easy, but um, yeah, just contact me. Ask me what you want. And <laughs> do you do commissions? I do do commissions every once in a while. Right, right. The next one I'm going to do is going to be, I think, of the main organ sign for our song. Um, but I'm so busy working on this stuff that I'm kind of not rushing to it at the moment. Um, yeah. Very Anything cool. else? Did um, I miss? No, uh, we just wanted to talk to you about the gallery that we're holding. Okay. Uh, the very first one is on the 23rd of this month, and you're more than welcome to come check it out. Okay. Um, and that's for all of the artists that we interviewed before the first of the year. Okay. And then, um, so we're going to have wine, food, nice. I'm going to make three pots of chili, nice. a, a chicken, a beef, and a vegetarian. Nice. So I'll try to have everybody covered. I think the vegetarian will be vegan too. But, um, and yeah, we're gonna paint a wall. But the the one that we'll invite you to is on February twenty seventh. Okay. It twenty seventh. Yeah. It is the twenty seventh. Yeah. I don't know why I. Twenty third is January. Twenty seventh is February. Don't know why I was second guessing myself. But uh, yeah, so. I guess, do you want to come? Yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Where is it at? Well, we're uh, doing it out of our house right now. Okay. What we're doing is we're inviting the uh, artists to come and they yeah. bring some of their work and they can, we'll give you a little space oh, to cool. show off your stuff and it's it's a networking yeah. event. It's like yeah. the realistic thing yeah, that you're yeah. talking about. But people, and we're going to do a, uh, uh, a Goodwill raffle where people, if they want to give five dollars or more, mm -hmm. they get a raffle tip ticket and then we raffle off a uh, little art to work that oh, the artists cool. have donated yeah. he and I have both have pieces in and several other artists have donated and if you have a small piece that you wouldn't mind donating we'd I love do to have, have that. something that I can donate that would be great but, yeah. do, should the donations be originals or prints that's up to you that's that's up to you okay well I have an original one on so. the uh, yeah. The, the donation isn't a requirement for yeah. the show. The only requirement to come show at the show is the interview. Okay. Um, and then that that's just uh, something that we're using to promote the show yeah. for other people. Yeah. That's cool. Trying awesome. to help finance the, all of it. Because yeah. it's all, it's, Very it's all coming out of cash <laughs> pocket right now. We're yeah. having a lot of fun and enjoying yeah. every minute of it, but it'd be nice to get a little help from folks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah is there any other last minute things you want to say gosh um it's my mind is not no no well, i don't this she's moment. got some wa wonderful work and jeffrey howard we interviewed him uh, yeah. uh what a week ago a week and a half ago excellent and that's how we met you mm -hmm. and there's several other people that he turned us on to as well yeah and so I just want to plug Jeffrey Howard. Thank yes. you for uh, sending us this way. He's a great yeah. guy. And the Red E Cafe is one of his favorite spots. Yeah. And that's where she's going to do her show in September. Yes. So Red, red e, e Cafe, <laughs> like a red and the letter E. Yeah. So look them up. They do uh, art shows all the time. And, uh, they've, so got a, they've got probably the best. They've got a great space. The best space, that, like gallery feeling space yeah. in a cafe. Yeah. Um, it's really nice. It's very nice. It's so. huge. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. you for tuning in. We love you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Woo.